Hey, listen to this. Every second, 28,258 users are watching pornography on the internet. $3,075.64 is being spent on pornography on the internet. 372 people are typing the full word adult into a search engine. Welcome to a Moon Studio. This is Denzel. Life, death, life, death, life, death, life and death on the tongue. Life, death, life, death, life, death, life and death on the tongue. Yes, yes, thanks for watching. This is Denzel with the Moon Studio. I am a Christian. I am a husband. I am a father um, of three small children. Um, I made this channel because I want to reach young people and uh, young women as well, but spe specifically young men um, on the outskirts of the traditional circles. So in other words, I'm just trying to reach you because you use YouTube. Um, I was addicted to pornography for at least four to five years and introduced, um, introduced to it at a very, very young age. And I'm very hyped about doing this video. So I hope it blesses you. I hope it serves you and helps you in your um, walk you know, with God and all that. So listen, man, these are just facts. I know when it comes to porn, it's a very um, intimate thing because sex is very intimate, but I don't think many people realize how much or how many people actually watch it, how near it is to us. I want you to listen to these statistics. Um, I'm gonna cite my sources in the info section so you can just scroll down and read those. Uh, but it says, every day, 37 pornographic videos are created in the United States. 2.5 billion emails containing porn are sent or received. 68 million search queries related to pornography. 25% of total searches are generated. Porn is present. Porn is here. You're not the only one that's dealing with this thing. This is a very present thing. As we can see here, 25% of searches every day on the internet are for porn. You know, I had this debate with this guy one time when I was on Facebook and uh, he was debating with me about him using porn. He had a girlfriend and he was like, you know, what's the problem with me, you know, jacking off is basically what he said and watching pornography, who is that gonna hurt? Well, that young man didn't know that he, in his mind, he's already degrading women to a lower level because for one, you're having sex with yourself. And then on top of that, you're using the image of God, which is a female woman, and you're using that image and you're degrading it to your own object of sexual pleasure. Think about that and let that meditate in your mind. So specifically, I'm gonna talk now about how internet pornography um, and the use of it is hurting teens. It increases the odds of teenage pregnancy I know that's pretty self-explanatory, but it's getting so bad in this nation that people are aborting their children because of the reality of having children. And the reality of having children brings a lot of challenges. Pornography actually fuels that. So the statistics show that it increases your chance of being of you getting pregnant or getting someone else pregnant. Um, it, listen to this. It hinders sexual development. Pornography viewing by teens disorients them during the development st uh, developmental stage or phase when they have to learn how to handle their sexuality and when they are most vulnerable to uncertainty about their sexual beliefs and moral values, this can hurt them. So um, just think about that, just about the development of anything. I mean, even the development of a seed, like if you plant a seed and you have all these different obstacles or like our great teacher Jesus says, when you plant a seed around stony things or if you plant, plant a seed around weeds those things are going to either choke up or stop the development of that seed from living on and it's the same with children pornography and their sexual identity um, male and female this is going to affect you long term i can only speak to that because i've been through it i've seen how you know when i first got saved and i first became a christian when i went into the church i was lusting after every woman Young, old, it, it didn't matter to me. Um, I had this appetite for lust, and uh, this is what pornography um, fuels. It raises the risk of depression. 
Significant um, relationship also exists among teens between frequent pornography use, feelings of loneliness, including major depression. These are just some facts. It creates distorted expectations which hinder healthy sexual development. You cannot judge a woman based or a man based on... Put it like this, you can't judge a woman or a man's ability to have sex based off of your fantasies of pornography. You're destroying your own experience in marriage or in later on in life because now porn is creating this, this sex dummy in your mind and you think that it's all about you and it's all about pleasure, but in reality, um, marriage is all about relationship. It's amazing to me that we always say, well, Christianity is not about religion. It's about relationship. But when it comes to marriage or sex or how a woman looks or how a man looks, we want these specific works and things formed to make us please. When in reality, it's not about what a man or a woman can do for you. It's about how they love you and treat you. So relationship over religion. So the reason why, why this is so addicting, why people find themselves addicted to porn, I'm going to give you some more reasons here. Um, or some more um, information. Underlying medical health uh, conditions. A person might use pornography to escape psychological distress. Relationship problems. Pornography can be an outlet for sexual dissatisfaction. Okay, listen to this. Unhealthy cultural norms. You know the music that's trending right now. That's what's fueling this stuff. It's the culture. Ideas about how people should look and behave during sex, the type of sex that a person should enjoy, and similar norms may draw some people to pornography. Biological causes. Certain biological factors, including changes in the brain chemistry when a person views porn, may increase the risk of addiction. So you may think that you're pleasured, you may think that you're having a good time, but guess what? Those people that are creating this porn for you, they got your mind. See, I just recently deleted my Facebook, um, and of course now I'm on YouTube and Instagram, which Facebook owns, but um, the reason why I wanted to get off Facebook is because of the strength of the addiction of it. Like, people actually collaborate to make you addicted to these uh, social media sites, and, um, and it's the same with porn. Like, this is already geared towards your desire for pleasure. All of us want pleasure. Let's just be honest. We all want pleasure, but the pleasure that we want shouldn't come at the price of degrading the, the, the human identity. You can even look into, um, into sex trafficking, um, porn. They say that the porn industry does help and does fuel the sex trafficking business. So now I just want you, let's just sober ourselves. If you're addicted to porn, let's just sober ourselves real quick and be real about life. Um, these, rea these are the realities outside of the world of porn, okay? Every attractive woman doesn't want you, okay? That's what this porn is going to teach you, that every attractive woman is to be attracted to, to be drawn to, and you should give them attention, you should give them special privilege. But guess what? They don't want you. Not all of them want you. Likely, none of them want you. It's just a reality, and I'm sorry to tell you that, um, your sin has you thinking like this in the real world. So you think that every, everything that you desire should come to you. That's what this world is trying to teach us. But I have news. I have some very serious news. That's not the case. We need to respect our women. A lot of women are our focus. They're trying to be successful. And you're looking at this woman thinking that you could just get her at the drop of a hat. To get her, you can think you can just get her at the drop of the hat because of the porn you watch, but guess what? She, she's likely going to pay you no mind. You know, these women are likely focused. So thanks to the porn industry, you have this false idea of what women want. And I'm sorry to inform you, men and women, you know, some women think just because they, they sedu seduce or that they give a certain attention to men that they think that the man wants them. But this man could very well be married. But this man probably doesn't like you either. It's just facts. In a real relationship, in the hustle and bustle of life, women don't naturally relieve stress by sex while men might. So sex is not a vending machine in real life. 
You're not just going to get married and think your wife or your husband is just going to do whatever you, you want them to do every single day. Because guess what? Life is going to hit. Women, when they get stressed out, they're not going to want sex as much. They want you to serve them. They want you to do things for them. And you as a man should be prepared for that. So all this stuff that, that porn is teaching us and trying to um, draw us to is just facts that, you know, porn is overrated. You know, it's not true. So me as a believer in Jesus Christ, I'm going to read you some scriptures, okay? So if you go to Matthew 5, 28, it says, But I say to you that everyone who looks at a woman with lustful intent has already committed adultery with her in his heart. See, Jesus held himself to a certain standard in life where he didn't he didn't appease or he didn't he didn't allow himself to be weak to sin. And what I mean by this, give me because he was a man that never sinned, but he was a man in a body like we were, but he never sugarcoated it. He never made it like, oh, I can just I can enjoy myself. Like, no. Jesus was focused. This man was praying every day. And I'm not saying that we can be perfect. I don't think we're going to be perfect in these bodies. But the focus, the focus that you need in this life, when you are looking at women and men with lustful intent, you are going to lose your identity. You're going to lose who you really are. And I mean like your, your sexual identity. Meaning this, when you get married, you're going to be in a pretentious kitty world because you think that sex is just so transactional that you can just do whatever you want without self-control but it's not true uh first corinthians 6 18 through 20 flee from sexual immorality uh every other sin a person commits is outside the body but the sexual immoral person sins against his own body or do you not know that your body is a temple of the holy spirit within you whom you have from god you are not your own, for you were bought with the price of so glorify God in your body. It's true. Sexual sin is a different type of sin. It creates soul ties. Some of us have, have and outside of pornography, some of us have attached ourselves to women and to men, and now we're sexually addicted to them. We're sexually addicted to the idea of having someone. And now what porn is doing is it's not just taking a body, it's taking a spirit, it's taking an idea that you're falling in love with every time you watch porn and now your mind is wanting that thing. Just like I was when I first got saved, you know, I was I was struggling with respecting women for who they truly were and I was lusting and wanting things that I should not have been trying to get. Um, so that's just facts. Um, I'm going to read a, uh, one more scripture to you. Um, it says, uh, 1 Corinthians, actually I can read you two more, that's cool. 1 Corinthians 10, 13, it says, No temptation has taken you that is not common to man. God is faithful and he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability. But with the temptation, he will, he will also provide the way of escape that you may be able to endure. Some of you are asking, how in this world can I live a pure life? I'm telling you, you cannot set wicked things before your eyes. Go through your Instagram. Go through your uh, to your social media sites. Look at who's your friends. Look at who's beneficial. Look at what you're following. Look at what you're allowing in the camp. That's the reason why you're in bondage. It's facts. And he's not going to allow you to be tempted more than you can bear. We set up our own temptations. And we're drawn by our own lust that we've created. So as you get delivered from this thing, of course, you may fall here and there, but you'll get stronger. You'll get through it. You can get out of the addiction of pornography. Even if for the rest of your life, you're struggling with it. Day by day, you'll get better. And one more thing is this. Hebrews 13, 4. I want this to be heard. Let marriage be held in honor among all. And let the marriage bed be undefiled. For God will judge the sexual immoral and adulterous. So marriage should be held to that esteem that we say as a people, sexual activity should only be done by married people. Say that to yourself. Sexual activity should only be done by men and women, men and women that are married. Okay. Don't open the door to lust. The Bible is clearly telling you flee from you for lust. Don't go to it. Shut the door. Run away. Know that God loves you. If you have not given your life to Christ, 
the Bible says this. It says, for God loved the world so much that he gave his only son, his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him would not perish, but have eternal life. See, you're already perishing, okay? Perishing is like a corroding. It's like dying. You're, you're already perishing right now. And what you need is Christ in your life. So give your life to Christ. All he, had, all he wants you to do, he says, take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly at heart. My yoke is easy. My burden is light. Follow me. Are you willing to leave all to follow Jesus? This is what he wants right now. Draw yourself to Jesus. You may be panicking right now. I sense that someone may be panicking. Um, and, and I'm telling you this. He gives you perfect peace when your mind is on him. Fill your mind with Christ and draw yourself to him because he loves you. Um, so thanks for, the thanks for watching the first installment of the Moon Studio. This is for men. But God bless the women as well. Thanks for watching.